This is a feather stitch, and it's basically little V's or U's that are hanging off of each other. So we make one, and then we move over and make the next one. So we're going to start at the top, and you can come up at either of the top two points. I'm going to come up, and then I'm going to go down straight across from that. I'm going to bring my needle back up in the V. This is just like when we're making the fly stitch. Make sure your thread is under the needle. So we come up. Then we move over. It could be to the right or to the left. I tend to go to the right, probably because I'm right-handed. I want to take my needle down parallel with where it came up right here. So I'm going down. I'm going down to the bottom of my V or my U, keeping the thread under the needle and pull it up and then I just go back over to the other side and now I'm going parallel to this stitch and if I'm trying to keep it even then I want it to be vertically aligned with this stitch up here so that not yeah so the first V that I made or the thread needs to be under the needle and then I go back over here and now it would be keeping it aligned with this one and then just alternating back and forth with these. So it's like the first part of the fly stitch. We're just not doing the tail on the end. When you're finished, have it as long as you want it, then you're going to just tack stitch over that and bring it down. We can vary the feather stitch and make it wider rather than just two V's bouncing back and forth. Again, I'm starting on one of the outside edges. I have three lines that I'm working between this time. And this is a double feather stitch. I'm going to come over to the middle line to go down and in between the two lines I'll bring my needle back up the thread still underneath to make my first V then between the lines over here I'm going to go down and it's parallel with that where I came up I'm going to go down on the line then I will come over parallel to the, where I came up here on this line Go down, bring my needle up between the lines. And now I'm just working back across the lines the other way. So I'm going to do another one right below this one. So I will come down between the lines, over here, up, on the line. And you don't have to do your hand at such a weird angle if you're not doing it in front of a camera. Thread needs to be under the needle. Pull it up, then I'm going to come over, go down on this outside line. It should be parallel to where I came up here. Go down, up between the lines, and parallel to that stitch, I'm going down between the lines, up on the middle line. Down on the outside line, up between them, so I just keep working back and forth between the lines when I do this. And 
when you've gone as far as you want, then again, it's just a tack stitch to finish it. You can make it even wider, just add more lines. So I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to work my first stitch between the line. My next one on the line. Between the line, and then on the line, and I can go ahead and go all the way over. It just they just get wider and wider the more lines you have. And then again, we're working back the other way once we've gotten as far as we want to go. So well. So the wider it gets, the more of a zigzag effect you're going to have. Back over again. And you can vary how it looks by how how sharp your angle is on your V's or your U's, how wide your spacing is, and then when you're at the end, then again, just tack it down. So that's the feather stitch.